Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video on BIOSes and uh, explaining what they mean and what options um, will actually uh, change on your computer. And uh, this one is on the security inside your BIOS and uh, this is the security panel of the Phoenix BIOS and my Toshiba and we'll see uh, when we do other videos the uh, options and other computers of the security and how it works. Uh, security options in the BIOS will enable all sorts of security on your computer. In Windows you know that you can put a password in your user account and um, this enables a certain level of security. But if you're a tech guy like me you know that it's not really secure. Uh, we have a little disk that you can download on the internet that's called uh, something like uh, NT offline password stuff um, from a, uh, I believe it's from Nor Norway or something. And uh, that disk will actually clear any passwords in Windows. So it's not really a security feature. You can add another layer of security in your computer with the BIOS. And uh, one of the features is the user password. What is user password? Um, this is a password that is set up to and asked when you're booting up your computer. So basically, if you put a user password, when your computer boots up, before it starts Windows, it's going to ask you, what's the password? So it's, in effect, a better password than the one you have in Windows because it's harder to modify. Yet, it's not totally safe either. But it does require much more effort to remove. So if you're afraid that a friend might you know go through your Windows machine even if you have a Windows password you can put a little more of a layer here and just put the uh, user password in your BIOS and the user pass password in the BIOS will simply be the password that's going to be asked before Windows starts so uh, here if I put one in my Toshiba screen it's going to say hmm what's the password and without that password, you cannot continue to the boot of your computer into Windows. So um, it can be removed, though. Uh, one of the things that will happen is that if you reset your BIOS, you will lose that password. So you come back to a regular computer with no password. And um, if you um, put passwords everywhere, Keep in mind that there's a little jumper on most motherboards where you can just, you know, reset the BIOS by using that jumper. So um, if you forgot the password, for example, that little jumper will let you use, reset the password. Um, there's the supervisor password. The supervisor password controls the access to the BIOS. So if you want to make sure nobody puts or modifies your BIOS or if you've put a user password and you don't want nobody to modify it um, or try to modify it in some way, then you will set a supervisor password. Supervisor passwords are affecting BIOS only or anything that changes these settings. So it's another layer in protecting the BIOS of your computer and preventing anyone from changing those options. Uh, of course, again, it can be reset with a little jumper on most motherboards, so it's not a 100% protection here. But it does add a layer that's a little harder to go around, so when you actually add this feature, What's nice is that you know that unless the, 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 the person out there is really a tech savvy guy that you know knows his way around even um, you know opening up your computer, you're pretty much in the, the, the in a good in good hands with this password with most people because almost 
anybody will not really know what to do to reset it. And finally, you've got in the uh, security section the uh, hard drive password. This one is a really, really good one because the hard drive password bypasses everything else and it's stored in a little memory space on the hard drive itself. What that means is that even if you put passwords in the user and the supervisor and they were reset, well you know that to access data on your hard drive you'll need that hard drive password and what's interesting is that there's no way or no easy way from what I see to actually reset hard drive passwords. So it's probably in of all the passwords that you can actually put on your computer without any encryption so whatsoever, this is probably the best password to protect your data because it can't be reset and unless you know the password you won't have access to anything that's on your hard drive and it actually renders your hard drive totally useless to anyone else. So it's a really, really cool way of uh, protecting your data, um, making sure that nobody can see what's on your drive. So uh, not all biases have that option though, and not all hard drives uh, will accept that type of protection. So it depends on the combination of BIOS and hard drive. So uh, not everyone will have that option available. So that's basically the three security options available in uh, a lot of the biases. Um, user password, which prevents, um, which is a password at boot up. Supervisor password, which prevents the uh, user from going into the BIOS without the password. And hard drive password, which will basically block anyone from ex accessing your hard drive without this password. So uh, all three together, I think, they had a nice layer of security that uh, is harder to um, find, you know, like if you have user, supervisor and hard drive, first of all, you'll need someone with knowledge to actually reset the BIOS and then you'll need someone that's going to just look at your hard drive and say, hmm, what can I do? And that one, um, I've seen a few people with actually locked hard drives and from what I've seen on the internet there's no real no real way of really getting to the data or using a hard drive if you don't know that password. So this is the security items in the BIOS and um, if you enjoy this series on the BIOS click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online and if you have any comments questions maybe uh, comments that you want to add to this let us know and put those in the comment section. And uh, hey, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.